Raymond James Stadium in Tampa Bay, Florida for WrestleMania. But tonight, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City, plays host to Monday Night Raw. And coming up in your main event, it is a grudge match that the Rated R Superstar has been waiting on since January the 1st. Edge returns to action for the first time since the Royal Rumble as he goes 1v1 versus the Great Liberator, Sami Zayn. Edge has been waiting to get his hands on Zayn. Tonight is the night they meet in your main event here on Raw. Well, we kick things off tonight with NXT's Joe Gacy with a big opportunity as he is set to lock horns with the Intercontinental Champion of Raw, Pete Dunne. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiser Wings, Pete Dunne. Well, we are going to determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Next week, February the 8th, Saturday night's main event. Two men who have been on a hot streak here on Raw, Ilya Dragunov and Big E will go one-on-one -on -one, and the winners move it on to WrestleMania to challenge that man, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne for the Intercontinental Championship. Big time opportunity arising for both of those men who have been on a roll here on the red brand. Saturday night's main event coming your way. A live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time, February the 8th. Cannot wait to get to Atlanta for Saturday night's main event. Well, we kick things off from Las Vegas tonight. NXT's Joe Gacy takes the trip from Orlando to Sin City to challenge the Intercontinental Champion one-on-one. -on -one. What a night it's gonna be. Edge in action for the first time since the Royal Rumble on January the 1st where he will meet the man who screwed him out of victory that night, Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens will be at ringside in Sami's corner. So it's gonna be very interesting to see the developments in our main event tonight as Pete Dunne comes off the top rope with the axe hammer. Pete Dunne into the cover, Joe Gacy tough as nails. It's been a long time in his career in the indie circuit. Has been in NXT the last few years, has impressed many and a big opportunity here on Monday Night Raw tonight. Again, we are 22 days away from the grandest stage of them all. Saturday night, February the 25th. Sunday night, February the 26th. WrestleMania. And Pete Dunne awaits his Intercontinental Championship challenger, which will either be the New Day's Big E or the invincible Ilya Dragunov. We'll determine that number one contendership on Saturday night's main event, February the 8th, live from Atlanta, as Joe Gacy here takes out Pete Dunne. And what a win it could be in his debut on Raw, but the Intercontinental Champion gets the shoulder off. Nice sent on there by the bigger competitor. A win tonight for Joe Gacy, for one, could absolutely secure him a Monday Night Raw contract, but on top of that, could secure him a future opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. But what strength out of the Bruiserweight to send Gacy inside out. But he's not done. Looking to send a message to his two potential challengers for the grandest stage of them all. Joe Gacy goes flying to the outside. And Pete Dunn continuing the fight. Look at this, putting a triangle choke on the outside of the ring. He can't win the match on the outskirts, but he can certainly do a number on this young man. Oh, wait a minute, Joe Gacy here. The bigger competitor, possibly the stronger the competitor, is able to muscle out of that triangle choke. And as the action continues here at ringside in Las Vegas, as we mentioned, February the 8th, Saturday night's main event, a live premiere. We have the complete card for that event coming up later tonight on Raw, which features a big, high-stakes main event that has been building for weeks here on the red brand. Nonetheless, Joe Gacy making his way back into the ring. The Intercontinental Champion is dazed on the outside. Gacy's smart here. If you win by count out, you win either way. And Gacy, wait a minute, to the outside. The big man not afraid to fly. Suicida through the ropes, taking out the Intercontinental Champion, looking to make the most of the situation tonight, the most of the opportunity. But the Intercontinental Champion has seen them all. He has beaten them all. 
and most recently handed Karrion Cross his first loss in the main roster. And he did it with that move right there. Bitter end to Joe Gacy. And the Intercontinental Champion continues to build momentum on the road to WrestleMania. Pete Dunne used that same move to defeat Karrion Cross back on the 22nd of January at Elimination Chamber. And tonight, it gets his hand raised again on the red brand. Here is your winner, the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. A win for the champion tonight. But all roads lead to WrestleMania. Will it be Pete Dunne versus Big E? Or will it be Pete Dunne versus Ilya Dragunov? We find out on the 8th. We are back live here in Sin City, and it is time for the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic to continue right here on Monday Night Raw. The tournament kicked off last week with Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic defeating the Viking Raiders in the opening round. Now it's time for these two men, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, to meet Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods Who's moving on to the semifinals on the road to WrestleMania? The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. Let's take a look at the bracket thus far in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Priest and Dijakovic defeated the Viking Raiders last week. Legado del Fantasma defeated Boogs and Nakamura this past week on SmackDown. Ricochet and Mustafa Ali meet Imperium coming up on Friday night, but tonight it is the Street Profits and the New Day in the first round. And all roads lead to WrestleMania Saturday. Well, we will determine your 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners. But the winners move on this Sunday night at WrestleMania to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World. So a whole lot riding on every single match in the 2023 tournament. Not only is the prestigious Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Cup on the line, but the chance to move on and make history. Back-to-back -back nights at WrestleMania and possibly dethrone Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of their WWE World Tag Team Championships. And I'm sure these two men would love to get another crack at DIY after coming up short on the 22nd of January in Anaheim, California. And their opponents at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the Kofi and Woods recently went 2v2 against Gargano and Ciampa. That was back in the Honda Center in Anaheim at Elimination Chamber. The tag team titles were on the line, but unfortunately the New Day walking away empty-handed. But a new opportunity arises in the midst of the Dusty Classic. They gotta make their way through three rounds. Tonight kicks it off for Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. But a win tonight moves them on to the semis. And the winners will fight Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. Who will that team be? And of course, the winners of that match will move on to WrestleMania Saturday to compete in the finals of said tournament. This is gonna be an epic one. The Street Profits versus The New Day. They haven't tangled too many times here in WWE. Not complete strangers with each other, but also not super familiar. Should be a great matchup to continue us on in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic here tonight at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Last time we were in this building was back in December for Friday Night SmackDown's All-Star Kickoff. What a monumental night that was, an historic making night. And tonight gonna be no different on Monday Night Raw. The Dusty Classic continuing before our eyes and still to come in your headliner, your main event tonight. The Rated R Superstar Edge meets the great liberator Sami Zayn, a matchup well over a month in the making. The Edge's first time inside the square circle. Competing, that is, since the Royal Rumble. Of course, Edge reappeared two weeks ago on Raw to lay out Sami Zayn. 
We'll be talking about that situation in detail later tonight when those two men are in the ring. But let's focus on Montez Ford and Xavier Woods battling out with the prestige of this tournament on the line. There's a tag made to the bigger competitor of the Street Profits, that being Angelo Dawkins here. We're going to see a little bit of that tag team action from Dawkins and Ford. Great maneuver there by the Street Profits. Moonsault by Ford. Dawkins going to follow it up with a splash. And now into the cover on Xavier Woods. Getting a two count there, or at least close to a two count. Woods gets the shoulder up, and the matchup rolls on another moment. Got to wonder who's more motivated tonight. Is the Street Profits hungry for their first opportunity in quite some time here in the WWE? Or after that loss at Elimination Chambers, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods got the adrenaline to want to fight against Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa again. Have they watched back the match from Anaheim? Do they realize the mistakes? Do they think they got what it takes to put DIY away for the tag team titles? All remains to be seen. Who wants it more? We are going to find out tonight in Las Vegas. Kofi Kingston, the legal man with Dawkins, and comes from behind with a simple yet effective axe hammer to the neck. Dawkins with the reversal there. Battling out with a former WWE champion right now. The New Day, one of, if not the most decorated tag team in WWE history. Both in singles and, of course, as a tag team unit. And Big E of the New Day will have his opportunity at some gold. Saturday night's main event, February the 8th. Big E's got a chance to punch his ticket to WrestleMania to challenge for a title he once held in the Intercontinental title. But again, the Street Profits here reversing the roles with another double team maneuver. That might hurt even more with the bigger competitor Dawkins coming down crashing on you. Montez Ford gonna continue the fight over Kofi Kingston as the Street Profits are in control. This dusty classic and what a super kick to the midsection. Ford, well look at that, rolls up. Kofi Kingston there, a little too close to the ropes, a little too close to New Day's corner. Kofi able to get the shoulder up. Nonetheless, Ford gonna continue the offense. Smart there by the young man. A lot of, a lot of superstars and a lot of people in the WWE Universe I believe Montez Ford is gonna be a breakout star on his own one day, but tonight he's battling for the team. Big time splash to Kofi Kingston. And not enough. One count there, keeps Kofi Kingston down. Kofi back into this, look at that, that is vintage Kofi Kingston there, going behind, on his opponent, drops him with the DDT. And a much needed tag to Xavier Woods. Montez Ford there, already in New Day territory, able to block Woods off, takes the rug out from under him, and snaps the knee of Woods. Montez Ford, a lot of strength in that young man, a lot of speed and agility, a lot of power as well. Xavier Woods got one of the best physiques in WWE, no stranger to strength holds. He was gonna outpower the other. And this Dusty Classic there, and right there in that moment, it's Xavier Woods as he goes back to tagging Kofi Kingston. Ford tags in Dawkins, and we got fresh legs on each end coming in. Dawkins goes for the clothesline, Kofi dodges it, and that was grabbed the hold of the opponent. And Dawkins eats the turnbuckle for dinner. Now Kofi gonna shoot him off to the other end. Here comes Kofi Kingston here. A Little bit of classic Kingston action. Springs up and fouls it up with the uppercut. And the New Day looking at firm control of this match. Kofi, there's the cover. And is that all she wrote for the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic first round? Not just yet. Remember Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic had an early match of the year candidate just last week on Raw against Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders, just in the first round of this tournament. Want to know what this tournament means to everybody participating in it? Just go watch that back, that match. We will see how hard all four men fought. Dijakovic and Priest getting a week to rest here as so they watch to see who their opponents are going to be in the semis. Will that be the New Day or the Street, street Profits? Hawkins now whipping Kofi Kingston into the corner. And look at the agility. Every man in this matchup with a belt full of tools. Only a one count there, but that was very impressive by Angelo Dawkins. There's a reversal by Kofi Kingston. Got to keep your eye on the ball when you're fighting somebody with the veteran status of Kofi. This rushing leg sweep takes Dawkins down. 
Street Profits, no stranger to holding championship gold. They've been around the block once or twice, but Kofi Kingston's been around for well over a decade here in the WWE, and he's got a lot of tools to get the job done from bell to bell. Look at that! Springboard missile drop kick. And you notice how Kofi originally went to the top rope, then changed the game plan mid-game. Very smart by Kofi Kingston. One of the reasons the New Day have been so successful these years. Oh, wait a minute. Tag to Xavier Woods. Look at this. Midnight hour. Xavier Woods into the cover. To win this matchup here. And that's it. And I, well, I believe Montez might have got there in time, but I believe the referees were out of position. I don't know. We're going to have to see that back on the replay. But nonetheless, Dawkins was definitely out one way or another. Midnight hour by Kofi and Xavier Woods, and they're moving on to the semis of the Dusty Classic. Here are your winners, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. Well, I'm getting word Montez Ford missed on the on the breakup, so that was a clean finish there. The New Day earn it. They defeat the Street Profits off the midnight hour, and they will face Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic in the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic 2023. Well, ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Carrie and Cross took to Instagram to say this, I am putting everyone in the Raw locker room on notice. Face me and meet your ultimate doomsday. Think otherwise. Well, here's the open challenge. Next week on Raw, Come fight me. I promise it won't end the way you think. Intimidating words from Karrion Cross. What is next for that man? Well, the action continues from Sin City as the women's champion of WWE, Asuka, meets Dana Brooke one-on-one -on -one plus all day. Austin Theory back in action as he goes one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth all tonight on Monday Night Raw. And the results of those contests see the women's champion Asuka build momentum before her match with Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Plus, Austin Theory walking away as Sin City with the W as he defeats R-Truth here tonight on Raw. Well, the women's tag team champions gracing us with their presence here in Vegas. But ladies and gentlemen, moments ago, the Celtic warrior Sheamus took to Twitter and had this to say. He said, did someone say fight? Karrion Cross, I love me a good fight, fella. See you next week on Raw, a.k.a. Fight Night. So Karrion Cross threw out the challenge to the Monday Night Raw locker room earlier today. And Sheamus... As happy to oblige, Sheamus versus Karrion Cross is signed for Monday Night Raw next week. But here comes the ballsy badass. And accompanied by Tegan Knox from Oakland, California, Shotzi. Well, you notice Tegan Knox is in the corner of Shotzi tonight. Tegan has been developing some recent issues with Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae, and it looks like Shotzi has stepped up to fight by her side. Very interesting development as the ballsy badass, the former WWE Women's Champion, is back in action tonight on Raw, except to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Candice LeRae. And of course, coming up at WrestleMania on Sunday night, February the 26th, the man, the number one contender, Becky Lynch, Set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, the woman who dethroned Shotzi back at the Royal Rumble, that being Asuka. Asuka versus Becky Lynch, one-on-one -on -one at WrestleMania. The WWE Women's Championship will be on the line. WrestleMania is shaping up to be an extraordinary event. And again, Saturday night's main event, February the 8th, a 5 p.m. Eastern time live premiere. And the entire match card for that night is coming up in moments here prior to your main event in Sin City on Monday Night Raw. We are set for action here as Candice LeRae meets the ballsy badass 1v1 here in Las Vegas. This should be a great matchup from your women's division. One half of the tag team champions in her first singles match in quite some time. That goes one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi to kick things off. Again, Tegan Knox, who's been developing some recent issues. 
with Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. She defeated Indy Hartwell a few weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw prior to the Elimination Chamber. But still been button heads with the way ever since. Looks like she found herself a little bit of backup in Shotzi. And Shotzi going to try to have her own with Candice. You got to watch Indy at ringside. Tegan Knox, I'm sure, has got her eyes not just on this matchup, but on Indy Hartwell. Should be very interesting to see the development of this women's division matchup as it progresses here in Las Vegas. I thank you all for joining us tonight for Universe Mode Episode 91. The ride it's been this entire year. We're coming up on WrestleMania, the year end here in the WWE. But we're not slowing down anytime soon. Candice LeRae, springboard, reverse Rana to Shotzi into the cover. Not just yet, but the damage done more than ever. What a maneuver there by one half of the women's tag team champions. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us so far tonight. We want to remind you to hit the subscribe button down below and be sure to comment your excitement for WrestleMania coming up on Saturday night, February 25th and Sunday night, February 22nd. Shotzi here, submission hold, got the bridge there for some added pressure on Candice LeRae. Oh, LeRae, just a veteran of the game, though, able to get out of that submission hold almost with ease. And the damage has got to be done on Shotzi after that reverse Rana there. See, Candice just shoots her halfway across that ring. And Candice LeRae is all over the ballsy badass. Almost had her there at the pinfall, not just yet. Where Shotzi was involved in the women's elimination chamber matchup back on the 22nd of January. He made it down to the final three, but was ultimately eliminated by an old rival in the EST, Bianca Belair. Now, wait a minute. Shotzi dead center of the ring. Slice bread. On Candice LeRae, wait a minute. Indy Hartwell's on the apron, trying to get Shotzi's attention here. Candice LeRae kicked out. I don't know, she might have got a little distracted. Nonetheless, Indy Hartwell trying to stick her nose into this match. And Candice LeRae is back into it. Momentum back on the side of the Women's Tag Team Champions. They have held the gold since Thanksgiving night, a couple of months ago at Survivor Series. And they have been dominant over the Tag Team division ever since. They've retained the gold over Sasha Banks and Naomi, over Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Originally won them by defeating Io Shirai and Zia Lee back at Survivor Series. Shotzi don't give a damn about the Tag Team Championship reign right now. It's all about getting the win. And that's a nice DDT progressing her to doing so. Now tying her up. Oh my goodness, look at this maneuver. Snapping the arm of Candice LeRae. That's enough to break an elbow, shatter a wrist, one way or another. And now Shotzi's headed up to the top rope. Could be looking for that coffin drop. Candice kicks, kicks up, however, and sends Shotzi for a ride off the top. There's Candice, no stranger to taking things to the sky. Springboard moonsault there, the ballsy man as Shotzi get the shoulder up, but what a matchup this has been between Candice LeRae and Shotzi here on Raw. Tegan Knox at ringside in the corner of the ballsy badass. Supporting her friend and keeping her eye on the other half of the women's tag team champions, Indy Hartwell at ringside. Shotzi, however, muscles up. Candice LeRae and a snake guy's in the corner. It's a vintage maneuver out of a young competitor in Shotzi. One of the breakout stars, if not the breakout star of 2022. And you see Indy Hartwell there was trying to take Shotzi's eye off the ball. Shotzi, however, Starting to gain a little bit of that veteran status in the ring. Starting to know her surroundings a little bit better. We mentioned she was the breakout star of 2022 and it's paying her dividends. Not able to put Candice away just yet, but a nice move there by Shotzi. Extremely competitive matchup tonight. MGM Grand Las Vegas is getting a good one here between these two women. Shotzi wrenching it in. She already kind of snapped the arm of Candice LeRae a few minutes ago, continuing the damage. Now heading up to the top rope. Oh my, coffin drop, and that was a distance, but Shotzi pulled it off into the cover. And what a win for the ballsy badass. Well, that has got to feel good for not just her, but for her friend Tegan Knox at ringside. The women's tag team champions ain't going to be happy about that loss. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up on February the 8th 
It is a live premiere at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, a Raw and SmackDown joint production of Saturday Night's Main Event. And already signed for that show, the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania will be determined when the invincible Ilya Dragunov takes on the big man of the New Day, Big E. First time ever matched up there. That is going to be a good one with the stakes. Could it be any higher? And what about the Nigerian giant Omas? He's set to face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, but he goes one-on-one -on -one with a man who has been impressive as of late and a former Hurt Business tag partner in Cedric Alexander. Also coming up on Saturday night's main event, these two men from SmackDown have been at each other's throats for months. They're going to settle the score, and it's going to be falls count anywhere. Happy Corbin versus Dexter Loomis. And ladies and gentlemen, two weeks ago here on Raw, Austin Theory ambushed Matt Riddle. We learned that the reasoning was Austin Theory wants his shot at WrestleMania. He has challenged Riddle to put the main event on the line, and Riddle has obliged. The main event, Austin Theory, Matt Riddle, and Riddle's WWE Championship match at WrestleMania hangs in the balance. Oh man, what a match it's gonna be on the 8th of February. What is time for your main event from the MGM Grand, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City, 22 days before WrestleMania, and we got a massive grudge match on deck. Monday Night Raw main event, Sami Zayn versus Edge. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Kevin Owens from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Well, it's back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Kevin Owens and Edge met in a no-holds-barred match, which was interrupted by that man in the green, Sammy Zayn. He aided his best friend, Kevin Owens, in victory on that night. But Edge finally reappeared two weeks ago on Raw and cost Sammy Zayn a matchup versus AJ Styles. Edge with a bone to pick with both of these men, but tonight he's got his hands full with Sami Zayn. But for the first time in a long time, Edge is in the main event of Monday Night Raw. And the Raiden R Superstar is back in Las Vegas. And if you notice, Edge isn't coming alone. An old rival, the phenomenal AJ Styles, back in Edge here tonight. Looking to settle the score with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, two men that he's got issues with as well. And his opponent, accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R Superstar. Edge has not competed on Raw since back in November. The reason for that, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and all the injuries he sustained while battling that man multiple occasions. Edge is looking for that retribution that he won at the Royal Rumble. Tonight he gets a measure of it with Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one in the ring and an even playing field at ringside. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles on the outskirts as Edge takes the fight to Sami Zayn right off the opening bell. Edge has been chomping at the bit for well over a month to get his hands on Sami Zayn. And I got a feeling Edge is gonna take his time finally getting his hands on the great Liberator tonight. And it's unloading with headbutts, dead center of the ring. Remember two weeks ago, again, Sami Zayn and AJ Styles went one-on-one -on -one in a matchup where Kevin Owens was banned from ringside. That was because Kevin Owens had went one-on-one -on -one with AJ Styles 
Dating back about a month here on Raw. Sami Zayn got involved. Kevin Owens got the win. And then they beat down AJ Styles after the matchup. Two weeks ago, AJ and Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn, excuse me, 1v1. Kevin Owens may not have been at ringside, but Edge appeared for the first time since the Rumble and cost Sami Zayn the matchup. Of course, an all-out brouhaha afterwards. Sami Zayn went after AJ. Edge hit Zayn with not one but two spears. Oh, wait a minute. Kevin Owens trying to distract Edge. But this is why AJ Styles is at ringside to keep Edge focused and also keep his eye on Kevin Owens. Similar, em similar enemies bring strange partner sets. Edge and AJ Styles, no strangers to each other. Had a couple of battles last year, one of those being over the WWE Championship. As Kevin Owens throws a chair in the ring to try to take Edge's eye off the ball, Edge has got another plan. Drop kick to the outside on Sammy. And the fight continues on the outside of the ring. Kevin Owens can try all he wants to aid Sami Zayn in this matchup. The Edge has got AJ Styles watching his back. And on top of that, the Rated R Superstar is laser focused ever since he entered the arena tonight. He's been all over Zayn since the opening bell. Now Edge sending Sami Zayn back into the ring. Referee's got to get rid of that steel chair. There we go. And Edge continuing the fight on the Great Liberator. Edge has been waiting for this for a month and some days here. And he's finally getting his hands on Zayn in the midst of bell to bell combat and a second rope spear by Edge into the cover. Will that do it? Sami Zayn gets the shoulder up and he's got to be feeling the pain off that one. Oh, and again, already, what's this, the third time in the matchup, Kevin Owens now. We're only, a, a, what, two, three minutes into this thing. Second time he distracted Edge. And then if you want to count the steel chair, that's th three times Kevin Owens has already stuck his nose in this matchup. And it has aided Sami Zayn in getting to the driver's seat of this main event. Referee's got to keep his eye on Kevin Owens. He, he might be risking getting thrown out here, and I would love to see it. After everything Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have done to Edge, to AJ Styles, it's about time they get what they got coming to them. Sami Zayn picking up Edge, and he has really taken over this matchup. Thanks to the prize fighter Kevin Owens, but there's Edge fighting back. Never count out the rated our superstars, delivering a couple of stern headbutts to Sami Zayn. Edge is not going down without a fight here tonight in Vegas. But all his chips on the table. Double or nothing for Edge. Win or go home. Sami Zayn's reeling. Edge sending him off into the corner in the midst of this first time ever grudge match. Sami avoids it there. Avoiding disaster if you ask me. And there's a Hurricane Rana. Can't take away the talent from Sami Zayn whether he like him or not. An extraordinary athlete from bell to bell as is Kevin Owens. Sammy no stranger to the top rope, but he drops the axe hammer. Simple but effective there on Edge. And Sammy has really, in a sense, slowed the pace down just a little bit in this match. Edge came out swinging off the opening bell. No collar and elbow tie-ups tonight. Edge just continues to run at Sami Zayn. And luckily, he was able to avoid disaster there because of it. Edge has got to remain focused, though. He can't let the anger and adrenaline get the best of him. He wants to get one up on Sami Zayn and get that victory and honestly most likely turn his sights to Kevin Owens to trying to close that chapter. He's got to stay focused in doing so as he cuts Sami Zayn in half in the corner again. Edge is no stranger to these types of matches. Big fight field grudge matches where he's got a score to settle with his opponent. He's been down this road many a times throughout his career as he slams Sami Zayn face first onto canvas. I'm sure Edge is chomping at the bit. He hit Sami Zayn with two spears two weeks ago. I'm sure he's got another one in mind for the great liberator tonight. Nice counter there by Zayn and a springboard. Tornado DDT. He's been looking for that for a couple of times in the matchup, and he hit it. Into the cover there. Sami Zayn. Oh, Edge's got the foot on the rope. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a damn minute. Edge had the foot on the rope, and the referee didn't see it. You have got to be kidding me. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens just stuck it to Edge again. Here is your winner. 
And they didn't even mean it this time. Zane! That is absolute. Oh, you know what? Sami Zayn is the luckiest man alive because he just screwed Edge once again. Edge had his damn foot in the ropes. The ref didn't see it. And thanks to that misstep, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens once again get the last laugh. But mark my words, Edge and AJ Styles are going to be back and there is going to be hell to pay. Hey, so I'm on a chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rock.